that I am. That I That you might be interested in. What do you mean you've got treasure? What treasure? It's hidden on this ship. What treasure? What's this? <laughs> That's a lousy job of hiding things there, Esquire. I mean, speaking of no treasure. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ay, 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 ay. I can't get this over this lock. Here, let me down and I'll help you. Ah, and spew! Bring him down! Bring him down! Oh. Oh. Now! <clears throat> Esquire, get over here and open this thing for me now. Here. You know how to open it, you open it. Or can you look? Look, I'm. Ah! Oh, now give me that. <laughs> Yikes. 
one more story about Jesus and the sea. Oh. Yeah! yeah! Another story! <laughs> All right, then. Yeah! <laughs> Keep it the treasure. Okay, now listen, everybody, I need your help on this. Whenever I say wind during the story, cup your hands like this and make a wind sound. Whenever you hear wind in the story, you do that, yeah? Whenever you hear waves, clasp your hands together like this and make some waves, yeah? And anytime I'm on Jesus during the story, you come to the sky and say, God's son, okay? Jesus, God's son. God's son. Try it again. Wind. Waves. Jesus. God's son. It was a dark and stormy night. A man named Peter and his mates were on a boat in the middle of a great sea. It became dark and stormy that night on the sea for Peter and his mates. The waves grew high and water started coming in and the wind was tearing at the sail. But Peter and his mates had a very special good friend named Jesus. God! He was God's son and could do miraculous things. But he wasn't with them on the boat. Suddenly in the midst of the wind and the waves, their friend Jesus, God's son, came to them, walking on the water. This terrified his friends. We thought they were seeing a ghost or something. It was dark and it was very stormy. But Jesus, God's son, yelled to them through the storm, take courage, it's me, don't be afraid. But Peter wasn't positive. It was his friend Jesus. God son! It was dark and it was pretty stormy. So he did what his friend said and he took courage. He said to the man standing on the water, If it is you, tell me to come onto the water. So Jesus, God son, did! And Peter stepped out on the boat and started walking through the waves toward Jesus, God son! Can you believe it? But then something happened to Peter. He looked at the waves, took his eyes off Jesus, God's son, and becomes very scared again and started to sink. But Jesus, God's son, grabbed Peter's hand and lifted him up, and they both got into the boat together. And suddenly, the wind quit blowing, and the waves stopped. That was one of the times that Jesus, God's son, did something impossible so that his friends would understand and believe that he really was special, and that he really was God's son. Oh. I like both stories about Jesus. You know, I sailed through a storm like that once, I remember, I think it was on the Mediterranean, and uh, I believe we were near Palestine, and uh, Peace tree, look, nobody cares about your story. I'm much more interested in this treasure. I think you should mention Palestine. One day, all the Jews around the world will be gathered back to that place. It used to be called Israel. Now, Duchess, how do you know what's going to happen in the future? Shall I tell him, Mr. Lee? We need not keep the secret. I have looked inside this treasure chest. And inside, I have found the answers to things in the future and from the beginning of time. There are answers to the questions that people have living on the earth for today and the life beyond. That's how exciting! But frankly, I already have a book of answers. It's called a dictionary. <laughs> Take it over. We go! The book of answers that I have tells us all about the one who created the words in that dictionary and everything else. The one who created everything. I made the words themselves? I want those answers! You can't unlock it that way. Then you open it! I won't. Then you're gonna go and meet your maker of 